Well, I think it's been a while since I made a couple videos for you, but here we go. <laughs> the Laws of Exponents. Now, the laws themselves, pretty easy, but you got to know when to do what. So that's why I thought we'd have a video. So law one, not really a law because it doesn't deal with exponents. But what do you do when you're adding two things and you have the same variable? You just add the coefficients, the numbers times the variable. Now notice if this was an X and this was a Y, I'd be done. But they're both X's and they both have the same power. So if I had X cubed plus X to the second, I'd say done. It's called prime. I can't do any more to it. But if I have, as I put my hand in front of it, 5x plus 6x, that would be 11x. If I had a 7x squared plus 3x squared, that'd be 10x squared. Notice the power didn't change because power has to do with a uh, uh, number times the number the bases to multiply together. Having a hard time speaking this morning. So, if I had a 3x cubed plus 7x cubed, that would be 10x cubed. So here's uh, three problems. Go ahead and uh, freeze the video, do them, and then turn me back on. Okay, can't do that one. Different powers. 6x plus 3x, 9x. Now, this is distribution. We've done this, my peeps. So, it'd be 3x plus 12, 6x minus 18. So, 9x uh, minus 6. Law number two, which is actually the first law, but what do you do when you multiply two things same base? Well... As we saw in class, when you multiply two things in the same base, you add the powers. So, uh, for example, x to the 6 times x to the 10th. I have 6 x's multiplied together. I have 10 more x's multiplied together. So, all together, I have 16 x's multiplied together. So if I had x to the 10th times x to the 20th, I would have x to the 30th multiplied together. So here's three problems. Do them for me. Freeze the video and then turn it back on. Okay, so this should be three points. x to the 9th. When you multiply two things in the same base, you add the powers. So this would be x to the 14th, because when you multiply two things in the same base, you add the powers. So this one, this would be x to the 10th plus x to the 10th. Oh, uh, when you're adding two things, same base, same power, you just add the coefficient, so it would be 2x to the 10th. Hey, the third law of exponent. What do you do when you have a base to a power, then you raise it to another power? Well, as we saw in class, you multiply the powers. So if I had x to the six to the fourth, base to a power, raise another power, you multiply the powers. Base to a 10th power, or x to the 10th power, to the 6th power, you multiply the powers. So when you have a base to a power and you raise to another power, you multiply the powers. Do these three for me, please. I'd appreciate it. 
So, base to a power raised to another power, you multiply the powers. Base to a power to another power, multiply the powers. Wow, 2x to the 40th. Hmm. Here, this should be x to the 20th. Oh, when you multiply two things same base, you add the powers. So this would be x to the 20th. When you have the same base, same power, you add the numbers out front. 1 plus 1 is 2. Do not change the power. Well, I guess this is going to take two videos because uh, we're almost up to six minutes and I don't want to go past ten. So remember to watch part two. Bye-bye.